All right, all right, I'm going to do it again today. I'm going to start in reverse, so to speak. Jesus is still Lord, though. Hey, and the word works. Philippians 4, 6 says, be careful for nothing. Don't take care. Jesus said it this way. He said, which of you by taking thought can add one cubit to his statue? I want to be a little taller. Well, no, I don't. I'm, I'm six foot two. I'm a pretty good sized boy. But there's some people worried. Well, you know, I'm not tall enough to do this or I'm not tall enough to do that. Uh, well, you can't change this, your size by taking the worry of it. Now, you can believe God, yeah, and you can get taller or slimmer or, or whatever you want. But taking care, worrying about it, being filled with anxiety because I'm not tall enough or I'm not big enough or, you know, girls may not like me because I'm short. I, I get away. You don't take the care. Somebody tells you when you go to leave, take care. Just look at them, smile, be nice and say, no, I don't want any. It'll blow their mind. They'll say, what? I don't want any. Jesus said the casting of the whole of your care is on him. I'm not worried about anything. Somebody says, well, what are we going to do about the government? We're going to pray for it. We're going to believe that Jesus is Lord over the United States of America. We're going to believe that God turns our nation around. We're going to believe God. I'm not going to be worried about it. Well, what about Russia? I'm not worried about them. They're over yonder. Well, what? I told you this story a long time ago, but I'm going to tell you again. I got, I got in trouble in Cuba. It was against the law to preach down there, and I'd been preaching all over the country and having a great time. You know, I had some really wonderful meetings down there, and God blessed us, and we were doing good, but the, you know, I, I did what I needed to do to get in and out, and I won't go through that. But the last time I went down there, uh, I didn't do the, all the stuff I wanted to do, and I got I got uh, arrested, and and nobody knew where I was. When my wife tried to get in touch with me, she didn't know where I was, and I spent um, you know uh, two days and one night in jail, and and got interrogated, and and body searched, and all kinds of bad stuff. And they marked my passport and told me not to come back. I said, okay, fine. You know, after forty trips down there, we're talking, you know, 10 years ago when it was impossible to get there. God supernaturally opened the doors for me to go, and they told me, don't ever come back. Now, watch this. I ain't going back. Now, if I get an uh, official invitation from the government to go, I might, but I'm not going to go back there and break their laws. But now, watch. I'm not worried about the Cuban government coming and arresting me here because of me breaking their laws. Now, it's, now to you, what laws did you break? It's against the law to preach the gospel in Cuba. I broke that law. I was blessing the churches there. But I'm not sitting here every day going, oh my God, you know, some Cuban officials going to knock on my door and they're going to take me back to Cuba and put me in jail. I'm not worried about that at all. You know why? I live in the United States of America. I'm home, been home for over 10 years, and they can't bother me. They're a little bitty peanut nation down there off in the Caribbean, and they don't have any authority over me, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> ah, glory to God. The devil's been defeated. He's a little peanut nation, and he has no authority over me. Sickness has no authority over me. Lack has no authority over me. Now, dysfunctional houses and families has no authority over me. So I'm not sitting around where, oh, the devil's going to do this. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? The devil, the devil. Quit talking about the devil and talk about how good God is. So, so I'm not worried about it. I don't take the care. I'm not worried about the economy. I know that God's going to supply my needs. Hey, look, when I was in Cuba and Venezuela and Honduras, I mean, they got funny money down there, and a $100 bill gets you a wad of money that big around in some of those countries, and still you won't have enough to buy a good meal down there. But you see, I don't live down there. I live here, and I'm regulated by the prosperity and the economic blessings of the United States of America. I don't have to worry about what am I going to do like some of them folks do. They're, they're really concerned about how they're going to buy food today, and I understand that, but you got to realize worrying doesn't help it. Let me read it again. Be anxious for nothing. Be careful for nothing. Don't take the care. I told you this yesterday, but it's so big. When somebody says you're about to leave, go get in your car and leave. Take care of it. Look at them, smile, say, no, no, I don't want none of that. I've had plenty of that, and I don't want any of that because the Bible says don't be careful for nothing. Roll your care over on God. Worrying doesn't change it. Somebody says, yeah, but I got this problem in my body. What am I going to do? Believe God. Go plant the seed of the Word of God. Find out what the Word says. Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health or, or tell your soul, your mind, will, and emotions. Take authority over your mind, your will, especially your emotions. And you say like David did, bless the Lord, O my soul, 
and all that's within me. Bless his holy name and forget not all of his benefits. Several of them are mentioned there who healeth all the diseases, who redeemeth the life from destruction. So meditate in the word. Don't worry about it. Roll the care over on God because worry won't get the job done anyway. Got to go. I ain't going to take your care. Not going to take nobody else's care. And when somebody tells me to take care, I'm going to say, uh-uh, nope, nope, nope. Not worried, not concerned. Rode my care over on God. God's got that thing. He's going to take care of it. And I don't have to worry about it. Got to go, saints. But in everything, with prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving. Oh, I'm so thankful. God's been so good to me. Man, I'm so blessed. Woo, getting more blessed every day. Got to go. Have a great day. Remember all day. Hey, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.